Good morning. Welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. I'm glancing through the newspaper this morning, and it's unbelievable stuff going on in the world today, isn't it? Extremists attack Ivory Coast beachgoers. Armed men kill 14 civilians and two special forces in the tourist area. Then you go over and read car bomb in Turkey kills 34, wounding 125. And I won't even get into the violence in our election process and the campaigns that are taking place and protesters fighting. And the escalation of violence could be very scary if we let it, can't it? You know, you think about Old Testament, New Testament times, though, and violence was prevalent there just like it is today. Maybe that's why Jesus said in Matthew, the 10th chapter, don't fear those that can kill the body, but can't kill the soul. You see, sometimes we think that if we build a wall between Mexico and the United States, that we can then relax and not worry about terrorists and violence. But you know, courage emerges not from increased police security, but from enhanced faith in God's word. Proverbs 29, 25 says, Fearing people is a dangerous trap, but trusting the Lord means safety. If you remember, his angels guard us. He's our refuge. He's our hiding place. He's our fortress. Those are all things that we can trust as Christians in God's word. If I wasn't a Christian and didn't know to believe in God and what his word tells me, I would be very fearful too. I might be a little afraid to go to the mall, not knowing what might happen. But in Psalm 118, it says, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The wall is not the answer. Trusting in God's word is the answer. So let's bring all our thoughts into conformity to God's word today and trust what he says. Because what man means for evil, God means for good. And we can rely on that and draw strength and increase our faith. Don't be led by fear today. Be led by faith. God bless. Enjoy the day. And we'll see you next time.